Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z. And I'm here today with another game in the White Sox imagined 2020 season. Of course, today is uh, Dress Down Friday, so I got my White Sox t-shirt on under my blazer. So, um, since the last game where the White Sox were victorious, <coughs> The White Sox have gone, in fact, were they or did, no, they lost. Actually, they lost the last game that we televised to Tampa Bay. But since then, they have been a rather mundane three and four. And so now on the season, the White Sox are 24 and 19, and they are one game behind both the Twins and Kansas City, who are both 25 and 18 at the moment. And so, with that, let's see who we are playing today. Let's see, league. Um, huh, forgot how to get there. Oh yeah, here we go. So we are playing Toronto. And uh, Gio Gonzalez will be on the mound for the White Sox today against Tanner Roark. So, without further ado, let's get on with that game. Okay, and we are home, so we want to make that change. And uh, there you go, the, that's the matchup, Gonzalez and Roark. For Toronto, their lineup today will be Biggio at second base, Espinal at third, Lords Guriel in left, Grichik in center, Teoscar Hernandez in right, Vlad Guerrero Jr. at first base, Bo Bichette at short, Davis at DH, and Kirk catching. And then for Bob Zolke's Chicago White Sox, you're going to have Nick Madrigal leading off at second, Moncada at third, Abreu at first, Jimenez in left, Encarnacion at DH, Lewis Robert in center, Grandall at catcher, Tim Anderson at short, and Mazzara in right. And uh, I also want to add that some of those games that we lost, part of the reason might have been because we did rest some guys. Zolke uh, thought that uh, some of the players needed uh, a game off. And so there were a couple of games in that grouping that we did give uh, some players a rest. So let's get on with it. We're going to have the um, go down to the field for the National Anthem and then we will get underway. So with that, we'll get underway. And the first batter is Caven Biggio, and he is going to be ah, uh, he's going to be safe. A base hit. Anderson couldn't get to the ball. So Espinal is up, 
and they're going to throw to try to get him, and they don't, so Biggio steals second base. Sleep at the wheel there for the White Sox, and then that looks like a big hit, big hit in the gap, and that's going to score Biggio. You can count on that. And Espinal is in second with a double, and that brings up Lourdes Goriel. And Gonzalez gets him on a strikeout, and Grichik is up. And Grichik is going to hit it at Anderson, and he's safe too. Anderson having a tough day already here in the top of the first. Hernandez is up, and Hernandez is going to rip it right between Moncada and Anderson for a single. And the throw is coming home and does not get him. And so runners are at second and third. And Toronto is already up 2 nothing with only one out. And that looks like, whoa, Guer Guerrero got a hold of that one. And that's going to be a home run. And now the White Sox are already in a big hole, 5 nothing. And Bichette with the strikeout. So he does get Bichette, and now Jonathan Davis, and he grounds out. So they finally do get out of that inning, but not until the White Sox, or not until the uh, Blue Jays score five runs in the first. And now Nick Madrigal will lead off, and he's going to ground out to Guerrero at first. And, of course, pitching Tanner Rourke, there is. And Johan Moncada is up. And he is going to pop out the BGO. Soft liner, pop out, whatever have you. And then Abreu is up at the plate. And they get him. He strikes out. So the White Sox go down one, two, three right there. And we go to the top of the second. Alejandro Kirk is up. And Gonzalez gets him on strikes, one down. Kevin Biggio, who led things off quite well for them last inning, and he is out this time. And then Espinal is up. And Espinal is going to be two for two. Here, he, here we are in the second inning. He's already two for two, and Lourdes Goriel is up. And they're going to throw down to try to nail him in second, and they don't. So... This Toronto team is running at at will, basically. Ground ball to second base to Madrigal. And he makes the play. But the White Sox are still down big time 5 nothing, And that brings up Eloy Jimenez. And he goes down on strikes. Encarnacion is up. And Encarnacion, they lose him. So he gets the first base. And Lewis Robert up. And Lewis Robert is going to fly out. It looks like to Hernandez for the second out. And that brings up Grandall. And Grandall is going to get a hold of one. That was right over. That was right in his sweet spot. And he gets a hold of it for a two-run homer. And now the White Sox are starting their way back. It's 5-2. And Anderson at the plate. And Anderson hits it right back through the box for a single. That brings up. No ma, no ma, Mazzara, and he is going to get a hold of one too. And now the White Sox are right back in it as quickly as they were out of it. That one is gone, folks. Not coming back. And it's five four with Madrigal at the plate. And they go to the bullpen. So they're going to bring in uh, Sean ya yeah, something Yamaguchi. And he hits a ground ball to Biggio. And he's out. So now Gonzalez is in a game. It's 5-4. And he's facing Grichik. 
and Gritchie hits it in Abreu, you got to hope that their defense, the White Sox defense, uh, stiffens up a little bit here now. Hernandez hits it to Moncada, and he's thrown out, and Guerrero is up. And Guerrero is going to bounce out to Anderson. So we go to the bottom of the third, only down by a run now with Moncada up at the plate. And he grounds out. He, well, pops out. So Moncada's out and Abreu is up. And Abreu lines out to third, and that brings up Eloy. Eloy is at the plate, and Eloy has tied the game. This is unreal. The White Sox showing some spunk here and coming back. Three home runs by the White Sox have gotten them back in the game, and Encarnacion is up. And Encarnacion strikes out. So there will be no more runs there. But now Gonzalez finds himself in a tie game. And he really has to buckle down now. That's going to be a ground ball to Moncada. Davis is up. And Davis is going to strike out. So there's two down. And here comes Alejandro Captain Kirk. And he is going to fly out to center field to Robert. So the White Sox now playing better. It's 5-5. And they're going to the bottom of the fourth with um, Robert coming to the plate. And Robert draws a walk. And he is going to... Looks like he's trying to get a lead to steal. And he, do, he does, and they throw the ball into center field, so he moves to third on it. And that brings Grandall up with no outs and a man only 90 feet away. And he's going to walk. So now the White Sox, the good guys, got runners at the corners with Anderson up at the plate. And that looks like it's going to be a double play. No, they had the infield in, so... It is not a double play. The runners are now at second and third with one out and Mazzara up. And Mazzara, they hit Mazzara and he goes to first. And it seems like he's going to be able to shake it off. And so that brings up Nick Madrigal. And Nick Madrigal draws a walk, which forces in a run for the White Sox. And now the White Sox take the lead and Moncada's up at the plate. And that's going to be a fly ball to Teoscar Hernandez. Let's see. He's back on it. And they are out trying to take third base. What a way for the inning to end. But now the White Sox have a two-run lead. They lead the game now 7-5. to five. And Biggio is up. And if he can get out of this inning, Gonzalez is in line for the win when it looked like there was no way he was going to be even close to a win. Robert makes the play for the second out here in the top of the fifth, and that brings up Lourdes Guriel. Lourdes Guriel singles up the middle, so they have a runner at first, two down, and Grichik up at the plate. And Gonzalez gets him. Gonzalez has settled down seriously since that first inning. And now we're in the bottom of the fifth with Abreu up, and Gonzalez is in line to get the win now. And, we're, and we just keep hitting. There's a single, a ripped single by uh, Abreu and Jimenez up. But they get him. He strikes out. That brings up Encarnacion. And Encarnacion is going to get a hold of one. And now with this, maybe Gonzalez can go a few more innings. Ah! 
The White Sox, what is that? Their fifth home run? I haven't, I lost, I lost count. So Lewis Robert is up and he is going to swing away. And he grounds out to third. And now the White Sox lead 9-5 and Grandall up at the plate. And he's going to hit the ball to short. And he makes it. He gets safe on an infield hit. And Anderson comes up. And they bring in a new pitcher. And uh, I'm not sure who that is. Can't read his name. Second base. And that's another infield hit. And Bizarra up at the plate. And Mazzara, right down the pipe to Mazzara. And he's going to hit that one off the wall. And let's see if the White Sox, yeah, they send the runner. They send the trailing runner. It's 11-5 to 5 now. The White Sox are routing them now. And Madrigal is up. And Madrigal lines out. But it's 11 to 5, six run lead for the White Sox. So Gonzalez is going to go back out there, and why not? But he does lead off by walking Hernandez. That brings up Vlad Guerrero. And Vlad Guerrero rips a single between Anderson and Moncada. So the Blue Jays have runners at first and second with no outs. And Bichette is going to hit it to center field. Robert will make the play there, and that's the first out here in the sixth. And up steps Jonathan Davis. Jonathan Davis walks. So now Gonzalez is uh, hes in a bit of trouble here. But he strikes out Captain Kirk, so there's going to be two down for the Blue Jays with Kevin Biggio up. And he hits the ball at Anderson, and he makes the play. So Gonzalez does get out of the inning unscathed, and we go to the bottom of the sixth with Moncada up. Moncada strikes out, and that brings up Abreu. And that's two down. He grounds out, and Jimenez at the plate. And Jimenez hits it right back up the box for a single. And Canarcion up. But he lines out to third. Detweiler is on to pitch for the White Sox with them up by six runs and Gonzalez in line to get the win here when it looked rough for him after the first inning. Gurriel is up with one down and Detweiler K's him so there's two away and Gritchick at the plate. And Gritchick is going to be safe on an error by Grandall, and that brings up Hernandez. But Detweiler strikes Hernandez out. All right, and that uh, seventh inning stretch was brought to you by Cisco Oil. And here we go with Lewis Robert up at the plate. And he grounds out. He grounds out to shortstop. Grand all up. He's two for two on the day, having a great day. But there he strikes out. And now Tim Anderson's up with nobody on and two down. And that's going to be a fly out to Gritchick. And Gritchick will make that play. And so the White Sox don't get anything in the seventh. We go to the top of the eighth. 
And Detweiler is still out there. He's facing Guerrero. And that's going to be a ground out. So there's one down with Bo up at the plate. And he's going to ground out to Anderson. Anderson throws him out. And there's two down quickly. And Jonathan Davis at the plate. And he hits one all the way back to the wall. Jimenez is back on it. Back on it. And he catches it. Makes the play right at the wall. And the White Sox go to the bottom of the eighth. Leading 11-5. to five. Again, the five runs by the uh, Blue Jays all scored in the first inning. And they haven't done anything since. That brings up Nick Madrigal with one down. And he walks. They lose him. And Moncada comes. He walks Moncada, and so Abreu is up at the plate with two on. And he hits one right between short and third. And they get a runner thrown out, but they do score a run. And uh, Jimenez up at the plate. And they bring in uh, Ryan Baruki to pitch. The Blue Jays do. And that's going to be a pop-out. And the White Sox are out of the eighth inning. But here's the top of the ninth. And, uh, yeah, they're going to let Detweiler try to finish this off. He strikes out Alejandro Kirk. Biggio up. Biggio hits a ground ball to Madrigal. And there's two down quickly. And that brings up um, uh, Espinal. And Espinal hits a ground ball to shortstop. That's an out. And that's going to be a save for Detweiler, even though he uh, had a big lead. He also pitched three innings. So you can see Detweiler with the save there. Three innings, one hit, no earned runs. Gonzalez with the win, six innings. Eight hits, five earned runs, and seven strikeouts. And you can see we hit four home runs in the game. So, yeah, good work today for the Sox. And if we go to the standings, we can see that we are now a half game out. We are tied for second with the Twins at a half game behind Kansas City at 25 and 19. So that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z signing off.